September 27th. The Go of Renunciation. Someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. Luke 9, verse 57. Our Lord's attitude toward this man was one of severe discouragement, for he knew what was in man. John 2, 25. He would, we would have said, I can't imagine why he lost the opportunity of winning that man. Imagine being so cold to him and turning him away so discouraged. Never apologize for your Lord. The words of the Lord hurt and offend until there is nothing left to be hurt or offended. Jesus Christ had no tenderness whatsoever toward anything that was ultimately going to ruin a person in his service to God. Our Lord's answers were not based on some whim or impulsive thought, but on the knowledge of what was in man. If the Spirit of God brings to your mind a word of the Lord that hurts you, you can be sure that there is something in you that he wants to hurt to the point of its death. Luke 9.58 These words destroy the argument of serving Jesus Christ because it is a pleasant thing to do. And the strictness of the rejection that he demands of me allows for nothing to remain in my life but my Lord himself and a sense of desperate hope. He says that I must let everyone else come or go and that I must be guided solely by my relationship to him. And he says, The Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Luke 9 verse 59 this man did not want to disappoint Jesus, nor did he want to show a lack of respect for his father. We put our sense of loyalty to our relatives ahead of our loyalty to Jesus Christ, forcing him to take the last place. When your loyalties conflict, always obey Jesus Christ, whatever the cost. Luke 9 verse 61. The person who says, Lord, I will follow you, but, is the person who was intensely ready to go but never goes. This man had reservations about going. The exacting call of Jesus has no room for goodbyes. Goodbyes, as we often use them, are pagan, not Christian, because they divert us from the call. Once the call of God comes to you, start going and never stop.